was like, what if we just did a night of worship? Like, what if we just had a night where people could just come and worship? Being about 14 years old, you know, experiencing the presence of God, you know, so strongly and like, man, I, that was the first time I felt there, there is a God, <laughs> there is something, there is someone who, who loves me so much and that really began the journey for me of even worship in general. I remember God asking me the question, He asked me, what have I called you to do? And of course my answer is like, well, I'm called to lead worship. I'm called to do worship ministry. And he said, no. And I was like, <laughs> kind of stunned, you know, like, no, like, well, then what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, maybe you've called me to teach or maybe you've called me. And I tried to fill it with all these answers. And finally, when I asked him, I was like, okay, Lord, <laughs> I'm trying to come up with all these answers, but what have you called me to do? And he said, I've called you to be a son of God. I've called you to be a worshiper. That was a defining moment for me as I was transitioning in that moment of, man, that is my first and foremost calling it. Anything that I do flows from that place because then anything that I do is simply a response to the love that He's shown me. It's a response to being His son. It's a response to being a worshiper. That is literally a part of who I am. Um, there was nine of us that were a part of that first night. And so I just reached out to all of them kind of individually and was like, hey, what do you think? Like literally probably all within the same day or two. We had about 70, 80 people show up, which wasn't bad for our first night. <laughs> and just honestly, we're super happy that anybody would even come, you know, but even afterwards, we had testimonies of people. They were like, man, I came in with this and I was healed in my body or like, I this, and I was like, wow, like, you know, we weren't even believing for that, you know. It was such a revelation to the fact that 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 is just who God is. And that's just where it began, you know. We were like, man, we need more nights like this. You know, we need more nights where we can just come together and worship God for who He is. God can't help but just show up and things begin to happen, things begin to change because that's just who He is. So literally from night one, be, from the beginning when we first started, like Luke chapter seven, story of the sinful woman, the Lord just showed me that it's always been the perfect picture to me of just a completely abandoned heart. Many have heard the story, but we can't, she came before Jesus with this expensive oil and it, uh, many people even say that it was worth more than a year's wage. It was just an extremely expensive gift and she came before Jesus with it. and. She poured it out at his feet. You know, she anointed his feet. She uh, dry. She she wept on his on his feet. Dried it with her hair. And and to me, that is just the ultimate picture of what a worshiper looks like. People make fun of people all the time, you know, for their worship. But people made fun of her, and she didn't care. She was more concerned with responding in a worship. She was more concerned with responding to the one who saved her. And she was ready to give literally everything that she had. And that is, has from beginning to where we are now has just been a standard that I have once set, you know, for Citywide. If we're gonna be a place that worships and worships Him and Him alone, then that has to be the kind of worship that we bring before the Lord. That has to be the kind of heart posture that we have of just, man, Lord, I'm here to give you everything that I have. I'm here, I don't care what people think. People may make fun of me. They may call me too much. They may call me extravagant. They may call me wasteful <laughs> in my praise, but I don't care because I know the one who saved me. I know the one who set me free from my sin and I will give my life in return for that.